Welcome into Garnet and Gold Grub, presented by Tico People's Gas. I'm Catherine Phillips, alongside award-winning chef Travis Johnson. He's the executive culinary director of Seminole Dining here on the campus of Florida State. And he's going to walk us through a delicious game day recipe today. Chef, what do you have for us? Today we're going to do a southern staple uh, white beans. Okay. White beans and rice. And we're going to talk about uh, the preparation of the beans and layering of ingredients and how to make this just a staple for you on game day. Sounds good. All right, well, let's start out with uh, the beans. So I like to use for the white beans just a large lima bean. Um, I'm partial to some New Orleans. The camellia beans are probably my favorite. And so when the beans start out, you notice they're, they're pretty small. And if you feel them, they're pretty dense. Oh, yeah. And so to get these prepared, uh, what we do is we soak them overnight. And there's a lot of different methods for it. Uh, you can soak them for four hours, eight hours, or 24 hours. These we soak for about 16 hours overnight. They're massive. Yeah, and you can see here how they almost tripled in size and see how they're a little bit softer. Yeah. So these are ready to go. Okay. So we have the cast iron on. As that warms up, we're going to start out by adding the ham. Now, what are the benefits of using natural gas here? Natural gas uh, is a huge benefit in cooking, uh, definitely the control of temperature and the heat. There's a lot of variations for, for using white beans or other traditional recipes like red beans or gumbo. That when you're cooking, you want that high heat right away to caramelize all your vegetables and bring out all those flavors and sugars. And then you want to be able to control that heat and turn it down on low to simmer all day long to really build that flavor. So right now you can hear it's on uh, medium high. All we're gonna do is just brown the ham so we're gonna cook it for probably two or three minutes or so. So as this continues to cook, let's add some uh, more flavors. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, and then we're gonna go into our onions. And we always add the onions first because they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook, and we wanna bring out uh, the sugars as they caramelize, and the onions are gonna turn a little bit translucent in color. So we'll go ahead and allow this to cook for another one to two minutes. All right. Now let's layer in our peppers. And today we're working with both um, a traditional red and green bell pepper, which is gonna add a little bit of color and some flavor. Next, I'm gonna add our celery. So this is all coming together. You can start um, to smell it. We're gonna go ahead and add the beans to the mixture. Turn the heat down on low and we're gonna let this cook for one to two hours. Okay. And the, the beans are gonna to continue to cook down, and when we come back and look at this recipe after cooking for a couple hours, you'll see how the color changes in the beans and how uh, it becomes a little bit more creamy as the beans start to break down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on low, and then we're gonna start our rice. Okay. And so today we've done a, um, it's a fragrant, aromatic brown rice, because we wanna be a little bit healthier. And always look at your ratios. This particular rice is a one part to one and a half part water. So one cup of rice to one and a half cups water. And we'll go ahead and just get this started. And we wanna bring the water to a boil. All right, now that we brought the water to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and mix in our rice. And once we add the rice, we just wanna give it a good stir. We don't want any of the rice to stick to the bottom. Okay. One thing with rice is always follow the directions. Look at the ratios and understand the water to rice ratio. And so we brought that back to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and just cut off the heat and we'll cover this up, set it off to the side and it'll be ready to go. Okay. All right, let's take a look at these beans. The beans have been cooking for about two hours now and you see how they continued to cook down? And they started out as more of your, remember how they started out as the larger oh, beans? Yeah. Well, we continued to add a little bit of water uh, throughout the day as it cooked and the beans continued to break down and they took on more of that brown uh, caramelization color as okay. they continued to cook. And you can let these go even longer. Uh, I like to set the beans on for probably four or five hours. So if it's a night okay. game, start them early in the morning, walk away, and they're ready to go. So Come the secret off. to this is just patience. It's patience and time. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the, the beans I like to finish with uh, a little bit of fresh collard greens, just to give it uh, some color and then take it add another layer of flavor. So we'll add some collards. We'll stir those in. We want to add those in right at the end because they're going to add some texture and we don't want them to uh, cook down as much like throughout the process like we did everything else. All right, we have these beans. Let's set these up on the table. Oh, they smell wonderful. And our rice. 
So our rice is ready. The last thing I do with the rice is just add about a tablespoon of butter. And while the rice is hot, stir that in. And it's gonna help coat the rice uh, to make it a little bit more palatable and bring out a, a few of the extra flavors in it. All right, let's bring the rice over. And we are close to a meal. Let's plate one of these up. The fragrance coming off that rice is amazing. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite dishes that I've learned to cook. It looks uh, great. Being here in the salad. And then we're gonna top it off with just a few green onions. And what do you think? You wanna try? Let's try it. All right. Love That's it. patience. Patience and that love. That is good. <laughs> patience and love. For full details on this recipe and more information on how you can incorporate natural gas at home, at your business, or at your next tailgate event, go to peoplesgas.com slash cooking.